Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, everyone. Kaifa halukum? How are you doing? Good. I'm glad that you're all, alhamdulillah, good. I'm also, alhamdulillah, good myself. And uh, welcome to a new story time. Uh, but before we begin our story time today, we are going to do two things. We're going to practice our iftar dua, and then we're going to play a little bit. So first, before we practice our iftar dua, I want to see your imaginary dates and your imaginary glasses of water. And this time we're going to try and say the dua together, me and you together. You're not going to repeat after me, you're going to say it with me, okay? Let's try. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Now, let's get the glass of water. Bismillah. ذهب الظمأ وابتلت العروق وثبت الأج إن شاء الله. Get your date. بسم الله. And remember that the seed goes in the trash. Okay. Did you guys do good? It's okay. You'll get it next time if you didn't get it this time. Okay. And remember that this is أذان المغرب. When we break our fast, when Muslims start eating in Ramadan, it is time for Adhan al Maghrib. That we just heard. Okay, and now I would say it's it's a good time to start our um, wiggling a little bit. We are going to do, my hands are starting to wiggle because we haven't done that in a while. Okay, get your hands ready. My hands are starting to wiggle, my hands are starting to wiggle, my hands are starting to wiggle. And now so are my arms. My arms are starting to wiggle, my arms are starting to wiggle, my arms are starting to wiggle. And now so are my shoulders. My shoulders are starting to wiggle, my shoulders are starting to wiggle, my shoulders are starting to wiggle. And now so is my body. My body is starting to wiggle. My body is starting to wiggle. My body is starting to wiggle. Around and around and around. <laughs> good job. You guys, mashallah, did really good. And um, I would say we need now, you need to find somewhere comfortable to sit. So sit down. Good. If you can cross your legs, if you want to cross them, you can cross them. If not, you don't have to. And now let's relax by taking two deep breaths. We're going to raise our arms up, take a deep breath and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to let it out. Now we're going to try one more time. Raise your arms up and take a deep breath and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and let the breath out of your body. Alhamdulillah, I feel so rested and relaxed and I think that you guys are ready to start the story now. So let's get started. Our story for today is called Zach and His Good Intentions. Written by Jay, illustrated by Omar. So if it's written by Jay, Jay is the author. If it's illustrated by Omar, then Omar is the illustrator. Good job. When we begin something, we say, Bismillah. Zach and His Good Intentions. What a terrible day, thought Zack as he start, stared out the window of his room. No matter how hard he tried, everything was going wrong. He looked at his sister, Hannah, who was outside helping their mother in the garden. They were laughing and having fun. It's all Hannah's fault, he thought to himself. Hannah and her good deeds. Zack started thinking about all that had happened to him earlier that day. Earlier that day, he woke up to the smell of chocolate chip cookies from his room. So he ran downstairs and he heard his sister say, All right, I'll see you in a little while. Uh, what, where's Hannah going? He asked his mom. Well, Hannah has decided to see how many good deeds she could do today. And she is taking some cookies to Mrs. Wilson, said Mama. Good deeds, I can do that too. He quickly put some cookies in a paper plates. I'm going to give those to Ahmed, Mama. All right, take care. Zach was so excited for his first good deed of the day that he was start that he started jogging down the street. And the closer he got to Ahmed's house, the faster he became. But then something terrible happened. 
Zach tripped on a bump in the sidewalk and lost his balance. His arms flailed around in the air and the cookies went flying and they fell in a pile of dirt. There was, there goes that good deed, said Ahmed. And he went home covered in dirt. And he put the cookies in the trash can. Oh, what happened to you? Asked his mother. And then he told her what had happened. Hana, Zach, have you seen a cat, Miss Ginger? Their mother called after Zach and Hannah. I haven't seen her since last night. Ooh, I know, I'll find her and that will be my good deed, Zach thought. And he went outside and heard a familiar meow as he approached the neighbor's tree. He climbed up the tree and he looked. There, that was Miss Ginger. Hey, Miss Ginger, come here. Here, here, Miss Ginger. But then something terrible happened. He was trying to reach out for a higher branch when he touched a big blob of sticky sap. When he pulled his hands out, some of the sap got into his face and he screamed. His scream startled Miss Ginger who, who scampered down the tree and headed straight to home. That scared Zack and he lost his balance and fell from the tree. And the grass, he was covered in dirt and grass that was sticking to his body and his clothes. There goes that good day too. Oh, mommy, I found Miss Ginger. <laughs> oh, looked his dad and said, oh, what happened to you? And he told him what had happened. Baba, I've already done two good deeds today, said Hannah. Good job, Hannah. Uh, why don't you do a third good deed? I'll be on the patio and can you pour me a, 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 a glass of iced tea? Oh, Dad, of course I'll do it. Oh, there goes that good deed, Zach thought. If he were quicker, he would have done it. Hannah, Hannah, their mother called from upstairs. Can you water the front yard, uh, the front lawn? Uh, the, but first, don't forget to move the spring. I'll do it, I'll do it. And Zach hurried and he turned the faucet on, but then something terrible happened. Who, who gave me a sprinkler shower? Asked Zach's father. Sorry, Baba. And Zach started stomping up the stairs to his room. He didn't listen to Mama. She was just saying to move the sprinkler to the front lawn because it was on the patio. There goes that good deed. It was a terrible day, Zach thought as he stared out the window. It's all Hannah's fault. Hannah and her good deeds. Zach decided to sit outside. It was sunny now and the sun had dried the water from the sprinkler. Nothing was turning out the way he had planned. Then he heard Hannah asking their mom, Mama, can I have some gummy bears? Sure, but share with your brother. Then Hannah went and told Zach, there's four for you and four for me. And Zach chewed some of his gummy bears, but he said, I wasn't very hungry. Um, Mama, can I share my last gummy bear with you? And then Hannah said, I want it. So Zach, thought that this was his opportunity to do a good deed. He said, okay, I'll share it with you. But something terrible happened. Hannah was hurrying over to Zach to take the gummy bear from him when she pulled the shovel out of the ground so quickly that a big wiggly worm flew through the air and landed on Zach's face and he dropped the gummy bear on the ground. No one could eat it now. There goes that good deed, said Zach. He was very frustrated and he started crying. I just can't get a good deed today, Zach said sadly. Mama smiled, but you did get reward for it. How could I get a reward? I never gave my gummy bear Santa. But you intended to give it to her and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that whoever intends to do a good deed but does not get to do it, he still gets a good deed for his intentions. 
A big smile appeared on his face. That means that I've done four good deeds today. One, when I intended to give the cookies to Ahmed and his family. The, the, the two, for, for, for getting Miss Ginger back. Three, for intending to water the front lawn. And four, for intending to share the gummy bears with Hannah. Is this a good deed? Shh! yelled their father, running directly at them and waving the sprinkler in his hands. It's a hot day after all. Mama and Hannah screamed and ran inside the house, and Zach ran straight toward his father. What a great day, he thought, even if things didn't go anything like I had planned. The end. Who was the main character in this story, you guys? It was Zach, and there was also Mama. Who else? And Baba and Hannah. That's right. And do you know what I like most about Zach? I like most about him that he was so resilient. Even if he couldn't get his first good deed, he still tried. Even if he couldn't get his second good deed, he still tried. And he tried and he tried until he learned that even if you don't get, if you plan to do a good deed, but don't do it, you still get the reward for it. In fact, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if a person intends or plans to do a good deed, but doesn't do it, he gets one reward for that. If you plan, but if that person plans or intends to do a good deed and then does it, he gets 10 to 700 times the reward. Isn't that amazing? Isn't Allah merciful? Alhamdulillah. He wants us to have so many rewards. So remember that Ramadan is the month of charity the month of good deeds. Remember that if you plan to do something and then you do it, how many rewards you can have? Something else I liked about Zach is he was flexible. He was so disappointed and frustrated. But in the end, when he learned that he gets his reward, he still enjoyed his day and went to play with a sprinkler with his dad, right? All right. Um, okay, you guys, thank you so much for sitting quietly and listening to the story. I will see you, inshallah, in the next story. So remember to stay safe and wash your hands. And I will see you again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.